Change blindness is a fairly regular and predictable phenomenon where a person misses a change or many changes in a scene. Let's illustrate this with an example. Look at this image for five seconds before it disappears. Now what's changed? There are actually five changes in the scene. Did you spot them? Most of us will struggle to spot these differences when the new image appears. Why is that? This is due to the way our vision works. When we're focusing on aspects of that image, maybe the bridge, the rocks, or the trees, our central vision is in play, which is helping us to see details in the scene. But we don't see all the details at the same time. Instead, our peripheral vision is picking up structures in the scene and helping to direct our central vision there so we can focus on those details too. When we see a busy scene like that Japanese garden and our gaze is interrupted, it's very hard to see what's changed, which results in change blindness. Change blindness also occurs in interfaces. Have you ever tried to complete a form and you're wondering why it won't submit? And then you realize you left one box unchecked and there was a small error message at the top of the page. Well, that's an example of change blindness. Every time a user interacts with an interface and a change occurs in the state of that interface, maybe the page refreshes, there's an opportunity for change blindness. Change blindness can cause users to make errors, to not notice important details, and just to overall increase that time it takes for the user to complete a task, such as submitting that form. You can reduce the effects of change blindness in several ways. First, by limiting the number of changes that occur at once. Second, keep those changes close to the user's focal point so that the change is easier to notice. Third, make use of animation, dimming, or strong visual indicators to make changed elements on that interface more noticeable, especially if it's far from the user's original focal point. So, next time when you're conducting usability testing and you're wondering why that user doesn't see that error message or keeps clicking on that button, consider that it could be attributed to change blindness.